Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Denise Summers, and yes, I am a proud nurse for 15 years, and I'm also a proud nurse that works at the University of Chicago. Um, I'm one of 2,200 nurses that is represented by the National um, Nurses United, which is an organization and union uh, of over 150,000 nurses. As previously stated, there is a nursing shortage. However, there is not a nursing shortage that is not enough that we cannot fulfill what is required to adequately care for our patients. Back in April of this year, we uh, are now taking a stand for what we believe that we need to do to provide adequate and safe care to our patients. Um, we, let me make this clear. It was never our intent to join a union and then strike but it was to join a union to better advocate for our patients as well as ourselves. The problem of patient, um, of many, having many patients that the nurses have to endure is a chronic problem, not only at the University of Chicago, but every hospital in Chicago, across Illinois, across the United States, and abroad, okay? When you are overstressing nurses, we are unable to adequately care for your loved ones as well as our own. Many of us are forced to work beyond our 12 hours. We are forced to go without lunches, and that means delay in treatment and many in the procedural areas and in receiving chemotherapy. It is an unsafe environment and although numbers can say that, yes, there is one to four or one to three, but we need to look at the bigger picture and look at the acuity or the illnesses of those that we serve. We do a disservice to our communities when we are not adequately staffed. Patients are not getting pain management in a timely manner. People are not getting refills in a timely manner. People are not getting transplants or surgeries and chemotherapies in timely manners. We have proposed to our administrators what we believe will help us to adequately staff our, our, our facilities, and it has gone on deaf ears. This is not just about an economic proposal, although we are losing many benefits as well. But it is time for us to become united and to take a stand. So I clearly want you all to understand that it is not just for money that we do this. We do this because we do care. We're doing this because we want to be better advocates for our patients, for you, for your loved ones, as well as for ourselves. We put ourselves at risk. We know that anything that you put too much stress on will eventually break. Many nurses are coming out of the field because of that, and that is why many of us have these nursing shortages. And so we hope that we get our message out to you and that you rally behind us and understand that this is not what we wanted to do. But when we're left with no other cho choice, this is what we're going to do because we want to be advocates for you. And so for that, I say thank you, and God bless you all.